See, he's hanging off the side there, nice. Almost getting his knee down. You can pretty much get your knee down on anything. As you've seen in the Moto Jitsu videos, right? Greg gets his knee down on those big baggers, on a scooter, on a dual sport, on a BMW 1000 RR. I mean, it doesn't matter what you ride. Once you've got the technique, and this is the foundation to that technique, so that once you've got confident in putting it all together, then when you're coming into the corners, you can work on getting your body position correct and more off the side of the bike, which inevitably will mean your knee gets down. I see. So as you can see, he's very close to getting his knee down. John is doing, John's on the white ninja, he's doing really well. Nice job, Tony. When you see the video, you'll see your body position. And I was commenting on how close you are to being almost in the perfect racing position. You're six inches from getting your knee down. Really, really good. You are close. All you need to do is relax your upper body, bring it down lower onto the tank, tuck in your legs more on the, on the outside so that you're gripping more with the outside leg as you're coming in. Change your foot position because it was out. You want to bring it in and up. Yeah, and then with your tip, if you put your stand down, okay, yeah, exactly. Bring that heel up, tippy toe, tippy toes, yeah, tippy toe. I call it tippy toes for the twisties, but same for the cornering. Bring your toe there out of the way and bring your heel up as high as you can because then your knee was out. Your knee was only here rather than all the way out, and you were literally about that much off yeah. dragging your knee, which is awesome. It looks really good. But what's stopping you from dragging your knee is your upper body position. It's too tight and too high. Yeah, there you go. Let that arm, let your arm, your outside arm, lay across your tank. Literally let it lay across the tank. There shouldn't be any tension in your hands. Let it lay across your tank and then drop that left elbow, which would be here, even lower than your wrist. It was still quite, it was almost level. There you go, drop that down. Then trust your tires, because you've got really nice smooth throttle control. Your head turns were good. Just relax. And don't worry too much while you're practicing. If, if the goal is to get your knee down, don't worry about the, the cone cornering. Don't worry about your line. That's something completely different. If you're practicing getting your knee down, ignore the cones. It gives you too much to think about. Once you've, once you've got your knee down, you know what it feels like, and you've got that then you can start worrying about doing that in the corner and worrying about the lines but you know just build on each level slowly so if your goal is the the cornering just work on your cornering technique don't worry about your knee that will come once once you've got all that down then you worry about your knee down then it's just body position on the bike but you're really close yeah. i reckon you know an hour of practice you'll be dragging so and then you'll be going through pucks <laughs> and pucks are expensive <laughs> But uh, yeah, for a new rider, a really nice position. Well done, really good. It's just a very loud motorcycle. No one can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just really loud pipes. Watch his ass position. He, he's way back. Watch his ass. When he's in the corners, he sets himself back and as far back on the seat as he get. And he's putting his butt cheek literally in the wedge right here on, the, on there. You want to use that corner of your seat for your butt cheek right in the center. Your crack. So yeah, guys and girls watching this parking lot practice, it is absolutely a blast. Easy to do, easy to set up. Enormous amount of fun for a couple of hours and uh really helps you improve your skill level on your motorcycle practice in the parking lot if you put it down you're going to be safe you don't have to worry about traffic cars people in the wrong direction cones are cheap you can pick them up on ebay you can go to walmart Order them online from Amazon. <clears throat> Just get yourself a bunch of cones. Stick them in a backpack. Come on out to find a parking lot somewhere.
and practice, practice, practice. And when you're done practicing, go practice some more. Fast Eddie, Greg Widemar on uh, Moto Jitsu has a fantastic catchphrase. I love it. His, his motto is uh, just shut up and practice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, dragging a knee, almost dragging. Nice. If he had pucks on, he'd be dragging his knee. Nice flip. He's got his pucks on. Elliot's gonna drag knee. Get all the way backwards. There you are. Yeah, you gotta get your ass as far back as you can. Upper body position. He's not leaning forward enough. And he hasn't dropped his inside elbow lower than his wrist. There it is. So just drop that rear elbow. Oh, he's getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so close, so close! <laughs> oh, is he dragging? He's dragging! Uh, yes! <laughs> God, he's like just about there. Oh, yes! <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! He's dragging, baby! He's dragging! He's doing it! He's doing it! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, there goes a perfectly good set of pucks. <laughs> this concrete is so rough. Right into oh man, it tears it up. Yeah. That was amazing. Look how the right on this side. They need to be tighter. They're sliding on your legs. They're not tight enough. <laughs> but that was awesome. Try dragging his knee. He's almost there. He's doing his best to drag. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Rush it, you'll drop the bike. Don't be in a hurry. If it takes you uh, an hour or 10 hours, the objective at the end of it is to stay upright, be in control of the bike, but if that your objective is to get your knee down, who cares whether it takes an hour or 10 hours? Yeah. If it takes you 10 hours, it's 10 hours of good practice. Yeah. It's just gonna make you a better rider. Right. Your butt all the way back, all the way back and your crack into the core. You can feel that corner of your seat into the crack of your ass. Yeah. Yeah. That's where it needs to be. And if you drop that elbow and you have your head turned and you relax in that position, first do that with your knee tucked in first. Okay. Then work on your foot position. Got it. Once you're in the once you're in that body position of riding, then work on getting your foot in the upright tippy toe position with your heel locked in on the inside and then start bringing your knee out. And you'll be dragging your knee very very quickly, I promise you. Okay? Okay. But baby steps. Get the body position right, get the smooth throttle, the head turn, get used to riding in circles with your, with your body over the tank, yeah. with your center line, with your center line here, off the center, over this side. Remember how, how Moto Jitsu teaches with the goalposts? Get, get your center line over the inside goalpost. Shift that body weight. 
allows the bike to be more upright when you're hanging off the side. Trust your grippers. You got grippers on the side of the tank here. Lock in here. Lock in with your leg on the side here. This should just, it shouldn't be too much tension. Yeah. But this is where you put the pressure on your knees to hold yourself on this side of the tank. Your upper body and shoulders, you've got to relax your shoulders and drop those elbows. If it's all up here like this, you'll never do it. You're holding your weight upright and high. We want you to come down and low and in. But just don't rush it. High five, dude. Nice job. And I've got it all on video. Yeah, this concrete tears these pucks up. Yeah, there's the evidence. Dragging those knees, baby. Well done. Nice. So you had your bike in a big lean. You could actually get less lean, more more upright on the bike, and you more off the hanging off the side, but in a good body position. Yeah, I felt like I couldn't hold it for long because after a while the bike it felt like it was right. doing a whole lot of this. Because you were too you, yeah. the bike was too far over and you didn't have enough speed. That's fine if you're Rossi and you're on the track. <laughs> but for this kind of practice, you can get you can get you can do knee down dragging at 20 miles an hour. You don't have to be doing 40. But it's all about getting comfortable in that body position so that your toes up, your elbow knees are nice and low and just relax the upper body. Because you, you are high with your arms and shoulders, which prevents you from, you know what I mean? If yeah. you drop your elbows and shoulders, then you can come in lower on the tank. So that'll make a difference. It'll just be easier yeah, for I you. Felt it, and it'll you know, be safer for the bike. Yeah. Safety first, right? Are you in yeah. first the whole time? I was in second. You were in second. But Definitely nice job, first, really Thank nice you. job. Thank you. It's freaking loud. It's obnoxiously loud. It's a uh, T O C E. Tose? Uh -huh. Tochi? Tochi? Tusi? Uh -huh. Tosh? Loud motherfucker. It's a loud, it's a loud MF. Now I've got to beep that out. I've got to beep that out, dude. I can't have no swearing on my channel. It'll be beep, beep, beep. It suits you. It's a pretty bike. Dude, I feel locked in on this bike. Like, this is good. Nice bike. The bike fits you well. It's awesome. Well, we had a small crash and a little bit of damage. Quite good. Yeah, you know, a little Besides, bit of a road rash. Besides, yeah. A road rash, we call it. 